I'm Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have a new print and pray process for you. I am working with Kelly Bangs' new set called God Gave Me You and it is such an adorable set full of all of these cute pairings. So you have these sweet pairings of couples and then of course you have all of these pairings of different animals just so cute and immediately when i saw this set i knew that it would be perfect for happy mail so i want to show you how i made this happy mail folder that um, is so cute because you can insert all kinds of little bits and pieces it's another great way to use some of the paper that you have in your stash so let me show you how i did it so I have a lot of Felicity Jane paper in my stash and I went through and picked out a few of the patterns that were the bright colors that kind of matched with Kelly's set and I'm planning on making cards that are four by five. So I'm double checking, um, I'm thinking through, you can tell before I cut, I want to make sure I have the right um, distance. So five inches and then I'm cutting it by um, eight inches long. So eight inches long, five inches tall, if that makes sense. And I'm saving that little extra square because I'm going to use that to make the pockets. And I'm making it eight inches long so that when I fold it in half, it will be four by five. So there's the extra squares. And what I'm going to do is cut it on the diagonal, just like that with my Fiskars paper trimmer, really easy to do cutting it on the diagonal. And then I'm just going to keep that with that same note card. And I will continue to work through those. Uh, this project was so good for me. I am not a card maker and I have all of these supplies and it's so great. I got some happy mail last week from one of my awesome Instagram friends and it's so great to send happy mail and it was a great reminder. So I have all these supplies. I should be using them for happy mail. Now I have my scoring board out. I'll score this rectangle in half right at four inches. I like to score both sides. And then you just, after that, you fold it. You can use this um, bone folder right here, which is that yellow piece that's in my hand to crease it really nicely and securely. So just creasing that. And then I will use these extra pieces and it's the reverse pattern that's on the outside. And I'm going to use them to add into my folder. All you want to do is just a little bit of tape. I'm going to run these through my sewing machine. And if it gets too much gunk on it, too much tape, then it's going to mess up the needle on my sewing machine. So I run it through those two long edges and leaving the diagonal untaped because that way I'll be able to tuck things in. It'll make it like a pocket. So doing it on that side. And then for this one, it'll be in the upper right hand corner just for a little change. And again, I'm barely putting any tape, just little bits here and there, um, knowing that it will end up being pretty secure after it's run through my sewing machine. So securing that one in, and I will do that for all of these cards. It is such a great idea to make these in a batch because the way this printable set is, you have so many of these animal pairings and it's so fun to just put these together in a batch. Now I have them saved and I can just fill them with goodies and send them off to my friends and to leave little notes for my husband, all kinds of fun stuff. So I didn't think you needed to watch me do the adhesive on all of these, but I did finish them and I take them over to my sewing machine and you can see that I did some sewing all along the edge so that it's a nice secure pocket. And now I'm ready to decorate the cards. These little folders are all ready to go. So I have these old kind of vintage papers. They're from a friend that picked them up at like a um, thrift shop back, back when it was easier to go to the thrift shops. And I'm going to use them as the background on the front of my card. And I'd like it to be torn, but I have trouble tearing in straight lines. So a trick I learned is to use just wet paintbrush, nothing, no color, it's just water. And I'm tracing that three by four card because that's the size I want. And if it's wet, it makes it much easier to tear in a relatively straight line. So I'm literally just tracing this card um, with this wet, clean paintbrush and then tearing along that wet line. And it gives me a pretty 
clean tear stays relatively straight it's a little tricky right there at the edge but it's such a nice little trick so that if you are wanting that torn edge look but a little bit more control over the size then that works out really well so I'll make one of those for each of the fronts of my cards as I'm adhering these torn pieces of paper, I'm not putting the adhesive all the way on the edge because I place it on the card and then you can see I'm gonna ruffle up the edge a little bit just to add some dimension, a little bit of interest. So I like play with all of the edges. Again, I'm kind of putting the adhesive just to the inside of that outer edge. I'll place it down and then ruffle up the edges. Now is the fun part because now I get to play with all of these gorgeous, gorgeous printables. So once that last one is on, then I'm going to start um, filling in these cards. I love following the pattern. So I cut out a bunch of this particular piece that says God gave me you. And let me know if you'd like a video on how I did that. I did not print that one sheet over and over and over and over. I isolated that image on my um, Cricut software and then was able to uh, use it and copy it over and over on one page so that I have multiples of them without wasting a bunch of paper. You can see that I follow the same pattern. I pick one of the sweet little pairs and then I add the phrase God gave me you. And I like the different elements she chose because some of them are perfect to send to like the little preschool class that I'm missing right now because we're not doing Sunday school or leaving notes for my kiddos or sending them to my niece and nephews. Or there are sweet ones with these couples that you can leave for your husband or for your loved one, um, which I think are super sweet. So there's a lot of options on how you can kind of format this happy mail. Um, it doesn't have to be lovey-dovey. It can be sent to a friend. It can be lots of, lots of different choices so I kind of follow the same pattern you can see I'm trying to play with what I want on each one and once I have the fronts done now I'm gonna start figuring out how I'm gonna do the cards on the inside but first I'm gonna add some of these extra pieces on the inside as well each mini folder has room for a couple of different elements so I choose the elements and then I'm gonna take some washi tape this is I believe from Illustrated Faith I'm gonna choose some different washi tapes I have some grid washi tape and layer them together and that just gives a place for these printables to land sometimes it looks a little bit awkward if they're just floating on the page so I like having that anchoring point and I like the layers of the grid and some of the colorful striped washi not too much pattern but you know me I like all the color and I'm not going to shy away from it. So all of the color all of the time, just give it to me. So layering the washi and then again, I will follow the same pattern. When you are doing batch made cards or batch made projects like this, you will save a lot of time if you end up just following the pattern. And I tell you what, I ended up using this entire printable set on one project and that's awesome i mean with these sets you get so many different printables that a lot of times it's just impossible for me to use all of the printables and so i save them and but i totally capped the set like it's completely done i'll have to print it out again because i already had some bible journaling ideas for it but first i wanted to try this project so um this like i said an excellent project for using up scraps i'm using felicity jane paper you could be using solid paper you could be using printer paper there's all kinds of things you could do i had also considered um how cute these would be for memory decks cards for praying for um specific people like having the um the little pair and kind of reminiscing about how you met that person and some of your specific prayers for them. So I think that would be a really cute idea. I, I love the idea of connection because it's something that we are all missing these days. We miss connection and what better way to connect than praying for someone, than reaching out, sending them some happy mail, leaving a happy note on their car or on their front porch. You know, think about ways that you can reach out and bring some happiness into the world when um, it can be really easy to get down and out about things that are going on. I also just want to give a shout out to Kelly Bangs for all of the different skin tones represented in these printables. So there's all kinds of couples represented and I love that. Um, so just, you know, keep a lookout. So it's awesome that there's um, representation and I'm really um, stoked that Illustrated Faith is taking the time to really focus on 
that. All right, this is my last little card, put my last couples. I tried to stick with the theme of like animals on some cards and couples on the other ones, knowing that for the ones that I was gonna leave for my husband, I would probably have the little couples and the animals would be more appropriate for kids or friends, uh, stuff like that. I have a big stack of these three by four journaling cards from Felicity Jane because I get them in the subscription kit every month and I don't do pocket journaling. And I have used them for tip-ins and different things like that, but I still have a big stack. So these are perfect to make little scripture cards, little note cards that I can stick in my happy mail. So I flipped through my stack and have picked out 12 cards because I have six cards I'm working on, so I'll have two for each. And you can see I'm just gonna spread them out and then I'm gonna start placing my extra pieces of ephemera. You can also go through, you can use stamps, you can do all kinds of things and I'll probably go through and personalize them even more as I am specifically sending them to individuals. But as of right now, I'm just putting together the different pieces to see what I can get that will fit together. And these are such cute. Look at those little crabs with the heart. They are so cute. My grateful tour as I was um, taking it off my sticky mat from cutting it on um, my cutting machine. So, but I can just piece it back together. It's super easy to do. So this is, you can see I am using all of the pieces, like all of the little pieces are getting used up so much fun to get to use all of those printables and this is a project you can create over and over again which i think is just fabulous that's one of the plus sides of getting a printable file is don't just print it out once and use it once like use it up print it again get the most use out of it there's so many options that you can do so now i'm just going through my cards and um through the little folders and deciding which little cards will fit in and then i have these colored library cards from by the well for God that I'm also kind of sticking in there that I can um, type scriptures up with. I'm just excited about the different things that I include. And I actually end up going back and adding just a little bit more to each of these cards. So I have, there's a couple tabs that come in this set from Kelly, but there's also, I have this sheet that came as packaging from a Felicity Jane kit. And I'm gonna use my tab punch and just punch out some tabs. Just add a little extra flair to the pocket journaling cards that I have in each envelope. So I'm just gonna cut out some of these tags and then I will attach them in different ways, just as little pull tabs. And again, this is just the basics. So as I decide who I'm sending these to, I can add a little extra flair, really personalize it. Um, but it's fun to have these already made because when you're in the mode like this and you're making them in a big batch, it comes faster it starts to get faster and faster and then you have a bunch of these made and you're ready to send out happy mail for the next um, you know couple of weeks so it works out really really well I also have a pretty good stash of vinyl stickers and these are from Heart by CC. some are from the adopt shop some are from illustrated faith just a variety of different places Anaya art is another one and so I'm going through my stash, pulling out some that I think would be really good. And I'm just gonna put a sticker in each envelope, sometimes too, just as a little treat. You can put sticker sheets, you can put some ephemera. Say you're sending these to a Bible journaling friend, then you know, throw in some of your favorite ephemera pieces. Throw in some extra note cards without anything on them that they can play with. There's all kinds of options, all kinds of ways to fill up these little file folders and send them as happy mail. I hope you enjoyed this video watching me kind of dabble as a card maker. Um, thanks for joining me. Make sure to check out this set from Kelly Bangs. I will list all of the supplies that I use down below just like always. And there's also a link to join my email newsletter. So check that out. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.